Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back again with Destiny Age of Triumph. My apologies, though, if, if my audio decides to cut out because of the PBR, so my apologies there. So, um, you're looking at the screen thinking, why do we have a second quest? Well, I'll tell you why, folks. Obviously, the first one's Age of Triumph. We already know about that. I'll have part two coming up soon. Um, here's how I got this quest line here. This is a year three Necrochrasm uh, uh, quest line right here. Now, I just got it from the Shadow Thief Nightfall here. And I come upon, I come upon, excuse me, uh, this part right over here. All right. Now, in this area here, there's going to be like one wizard and maybe two ogres over here. Now, there's a chance that if you kill a wizard and or an ogre or both, there is a chance that the husk of the pit will drop. Now, you don't know what it looks like? Well, as you look at the white, um, the white engram over here, and I, I didn't give a monkey's butt about the uh, timer there, because I'm not going to do the rest of it. Um, as you see right here, the white engram, that's called... Boom, 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 husk of the pit. So remember how you... Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go back to over here. Not gonna bother doing the rest of it here. I've already, <laughs> already came when where I came here for. So, um, there's a, there's a chance, like I said, that that uh, the ogres, maybe wizards or trolls. I don't know about acolytes though, but I'm pretty sure ogres and or wizards have a possible drop of husk of the. Now, basically my best advice is that you can do either the Nightfall, and the Nightfall this week, by the way, uh, um, is the Shadow Thief. So, if you end up doing the Shadow Thief strike, I just go to, well, maybe early, early in the Nightfall, you can farm um, Husk of the Pit easily and fast. So I was very lucky to get, like, two drops here. Now, I'm just going to show you what the weapon is. For sure. Okay. So it's originally at 350 light. Now just look at the details here. The husk excludes a sense of sinister satisfaction when used to destroy th uh, Thrall. And as we take a look at the other one here, it excludes a sense of sinister satisfaction when used to destroy knights. Now here's the big clue. When you're using this weapon, you only have to kill specific uh, hive enemies, I believe. So, for example, when used to destroy knights, look for knights and kill them. That would be a pretty good way to um, basically upgrade the husk of the pit. Now, I'm going to show you the first part of the quest line here before we go. That's upgrade the husk of the pit and transform it into Idolian ally. So you guys remember how you got the year one husk of the pit, you upgraded it to the ally, and then you used uh, the crux of crux of Crota. Remember, that's the only way you can get it, is just by defeating Crota. There's a chance for it to drop. Then you just have to use it, and boom, it upgrades to the Necrochrasm. Well, this is only part number one of the quest line, folks. It's called the Crux of Darkness. And the first quest step is Born of the Pit. So I've already explained the quest line right there. So yeah, uh, that, that was all I needed to know, folks. Um, uh, there, there's, a, there's a couple of ways to get the Year 3 Necrochrasm quest. Um, you can do the Nightfall Strike, which would be the Shadow Thief. You can uh, go to the Dreadnought. There's a chance of having Ogres or Wizards there. Maybe Knights, maybe Thralls, but maybe Acolytes. Who knows? And if you kill enough of them, there's a chance that one and or more will drop. So now would be a pretty good time to start farming it, and I'll be breaking down this quest line as best as possible. So this will be part number one. Upgrade Husk of the Pit and transform it into Idolian Ally. So the one I'm going to be using will probably be this one because it's a, a bit easier. Uh, this one's for Thrall. So I have to look for Thrall and kill them. Uh, I don't know if it's regular or cursed or both. Or hallowed. So... Um, yeah, so there you go. That, that's how you get Husk of the Pit, ladies and gentlemen. 
And that's just the start to the year three Necrochrasm quest. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up right there. But like I said, I'll keep you updated for the other two quest lines there. Like I said, it's Age of Triumph and the Necrochrasm, Necrochrasm quest. <laughs> try, saying, try saying that three times. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it, folks. Thanks again for watching. And uh, don't forget, coming up soon, I will be upgrading both challenge modes for Crota. By the way, I got at least one of them done. Trying to get Crota done. And uh, definitely Vault of Glass. I will be looking on YouTube soon for that. I uh, don't know if King's Fall and or Wrath of the Machine will have the same challenge mode. I, I think it's going to be the same. But we'll see what happens. Uh, and again, if you want to stay up to date on the latest uh, gameplay content, we're going to be doing Destiny, Destiny 2 later this year and a possible Destiny 2 trailer which will be worldwide on March 30th at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That's 6 p.m. Yeah, in the UK. Yeah. If you want to stay up to date here, definitely click on the notifications uh, bell there just to stay up to date on what com uh, gameplay content I'll be uploading. And if you want to subscribe to the channel right here just to keep it growing and growing and growing. We're so close to 400 folks, but I really, really need your help. Definitely hit the subscribe button right there it would greatly appreciate it and do your best to stay active if you wish leave a like in the uh, leave a like in the video section and a good positive comment as well and until next time we'll see you next time and good hunting guardians <laughs>